So all the videos I make on YouTube, I get a lot of questions asked. And occasionally I'll get questions like, hey Jimmy, what game should I get? And these questions come from people like, what kind of game I should get? They come from people that I've never talked to. I don't know what type of games they play. I mean, it would pretty much be asking me like, hey Jimmy, what should I get for lunch? I mean, I mean, obviously the correct answer would be a roast beef sandwich. But one of the other questions I get asked very often is, hey Jimmy, what should I get a PS4 or Xbox One? Like from this user right here, they're gonna be getting one in the near future. And this is a perfect, perfect question, uh, mainly with Christmas coming up. And I gave a reply, I wanted to read that to you. And so in my reply, I say, today it is the PS4, which is mainly due to the exclusives that are on the system that I went to play for a brief period back in 2016. The Xbox One was releasing a lot of console exclusives and I found myself playing it a lot more than the PS4. A few questions. Do you play a lot online? If so, you might want to consider where most of your friends are playing online. Like what system are they playing on? Also, what games are you most interested in playing? If you are all about Halo, Gears, and Forza, then you should go with the Xbox One. If you are all about Uncharted, God of War, and Spider-Man, then go with the PS4. Granted, there are tons more games to consider for each system. It is all about the games. If the exclusives do not really matter that much, and you are only interested in third-party games, then maybe you should go with the system that you can pick up for the lowest price. I hope that helps. So I realize a lot of people that are watching this video, maybe he's a family member, and if you're watching this and you're not into gaming, I get it, it's maybe a little overwhelming or maybe have a niece or nephew or son or daughter that's into gaming. Uh, it comes down to the experience and it comes down to the games. Do you, does your son or daughter have friends that play online and they wanna play online with their friends? You know, do they, do most of the friends play on Xbox One or the PS4? Uh, oftentimes you wanna make this a surprise. Um, so this, this is kind of hard. Another thing to mention with the Xbox One and the PS4, most of the games on these systems, they're on the PS4 or the Xbox One. To give you an example, like, the hottest games, the hottest selling games right now, like Red Dead Redemption 2, um, Black Ops 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and also Fortnite, those three games, those three hot games right now, they're on the PS4 and they're on the Xbox One. Another thing to consider, are there multiple people in the family? Uh, for a lot of these systems, they usually only come with one controller and you might wanna shop around because some of these stores, like I was at GameStop the other day and I saw PS4 controllers for around $60, $65 and you might be able to, you know, I've seen them at like Target or Walmart for 50 or 45, depending on, on the type of controller. Uh, so if you have a family member that you're gonna be getting console for, that's definitely a consideration. Should they be getting a second controller if they wanna have some couch co-op or play you know, two player? That's another thing to definitely consider. Another thing to consider also is that whether you should get an Xbox One or a PS4 is you go to the retail shelves and you're like, man, $50 a game, $60 a game, uh, $40 a game. Um, and that's not the case with hundreds of titles. Whether you're talking about the Xbox One or the PS4, honestly guys, there are hundreds of great games they can buy used, whether it's on eBay or even Craigslist or GameStop, they've got used games, uh, honestly, over 100, over 200 games that you can get uh, for less than 20 bucks. A lot of these games you can get for less than 10 bucks. Uh, some of these cheaper games are better than others, so check the reviews and you know find, find out what would be best. I mean, you even talk to the family member if you don't want it to be a surprise. What are some of your favorite games? You don't necessarily have to spend an arm and a leg. You don't have to spend, I mean, there's some newer games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and that's gonna be run you anywhere from 50 to $60, but there's a lot of other titles, great titles that are worth picking up uh, to give some variety for when they get the PS4 or Xbox One on Christmas Day. A lot of you guys watching this are gonna be getting a PS4 or Xbox One. You're probably gonna get maybe get some gift cards or some money from family members, and you might be on the fence going, I'm not sure if I should get a PS4 or an Xbox One. And as mentioned, there are console exclusives and they're flat out exclusives on these systems and think about it you know are you into god of war are you into halo 
Uh, are you into Marvel Spider-Man? Are you into uh, Gears of War? The Gears of War games? There's a lot of to choose from, but as mentioned, most of the games that are on these systems, they're on each other's system. They do have great exclusives, definitely, but hot games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Fortnite, you can play on each system. Um, and also another thing to consider, the family member who is maybe going to be getting the un uncles, aunts, whoever's watching, um, if they are going to be playing online with a game like Call of Duty Black Ops on say like the PS4, uh, you're going to need a PlayStation Plus subscription. If you want to play Black Ops on the Xbox One online, if you want to play it online, you're going to need an Xbox Live Gold subscription. The good thing, the good news is, is that if you're not sure which one to get, six months, 12 months, um, oftentimes these systems, if they're new owners, they can get a free like 30 day trial. I'm not sure if that's changed, that might change, but I think that's the case. You can still get some sort of trial on these systems to play online multiplayer. Another really cool feature for those of you guys watching out there that don't have either of these systems, the great thing about the Xbox One and the PS4 is there's a lot, you might be low on cash. Like, you know what, I just dropped all this money. I got gift cards from family members. I got cash from family members and I put everything into getting a system. I don't really have a whole lot for games. The great news is, is these two consoles, these two systems have it where you could download a lot of different games for free. There's a lot of free to play games. For example, Fortnite is a free to play game. You can download it for free and play to your heart's content. So there's just a video, quick suggestion video for those of you guys that are watching the veteran gamers. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below for the people who are maybe shopping for family members or maybe want some suggestions. Your comments are truly appreciated. If you like this video, definitely make sure to hit that thumbs up button. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.